Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of Nerdin' Out with Jake. I'm Jake Richards, and this is episode 2 of 5, covering filters, washes, and oils with the new Canopic Reanimator by Games Workshop. Let's get going. The first step in this process of this video is I'm going to be tinting the model with filters. Filters aren't a wash, they're just a way of adding a little nuance of color to create a color shift across different, otherwise boring areas of a model. As with anything with scale models, it's best to always take your time and add the effect up over time because it can get out of control real quick. It looks a lot more natural if you just use multiple layers and just gradually build that color up. And as you can see here, here's the difference between the right and the left. The right's been done, and the left is actually just base color. And here we go. Um, I'm actually using a darker filter now to create more contrast between the upper and lower parts of the claw feet things here. Um, it makes it look like it's been through more mud, whatever else it's been trudging through, who knows, but it creates more interest between the top and the bottom of these pieces. Now it's time for me to add a different sort of filter, oil dot rendering. This is a technique I've used a lot with my model tanks, and it's a good way of creating more localized differences in color. Whether it could be either from rust or from any other environmental or crew effect, this is a good way to add a lot of local interest on the armor plates in this. But the process is I'll take some oil paint, dot it on the model, usually lighter colors on top, darker colors on bottom, take a moisten brush, start to blend it, then take a softer brush, and then you blend the color in with that. It does take a lot of the effect away, but it allows the paint to really, really seep into your base coat creating very nice localized color differences from plate to plate. If you do find that you take off too much of the oil paint, you can go back and add additional layers of the same colors you used, or if you want to get really adventurous, you can use different colors on top of previous colors you've used. Like if I want to add more white or more the lighter colors on top, I could increase my luminosity by adding a white on top of my yellow or anything you really want to. It's a pretty versatile process and it's a very fun thing to do to increase interest among the different armor plates, especially in a model like this. Now I have been asked if I do put down a clear coat between the filter layer versus the wash layer because you can actually remove the filter layer when you're doing your cleanup of the washes. My answer is I don't. I will normally let the model sit long enough that the filter layer can dry effectively on the model, but I do end up removing a little bit. However, I'm not really scrubbing it on there when I do the washes and then remove the washes with the mineral spirits. What I find is the colors or the different layers blend a bit, which makes more unity among the different layers you're using. The cleanup process can take a while, but it's well worth it in the end. It can make a nice, evenly done model where you can see that there is contrast and where there is not contrast from the washes where there shouldn't be. Now it's time to create some ambient occlusion with my oil brushes again. The process is just about making more lighter lights and darker darks. I'll take a darker color, in this case starship fill, draw a line on the bottom or in any recesses, and then blend that oil color to be a softer gradient to a darker color, which you'll see. Then I'll go back with a lighter color, in this case white, up on the higher parts and do the exact same thing. It may not be entirely noticed at first, but it's a very cool technique to do if you want to create more contrast with a piece of, uh, say in this case, armor carapace in the back of this thing. Once you have your lines established, go back in with a brush that's slightly moistened. Maybe just equalize layers out and then take a larger softer brush and blend. Thanks again for listening to me rattle on for roughly five minutes. Uh, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel and hit a like button if you want to. In the next episode, I'll be covering my favorite topic, chipping. I'll see you then. Have a great one.